Hello everyone, my name is Kiera, and welcome to Kiki's Chic Keys, where you can get the keys to live a fabulous chic life. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to become a financially literate woman. All of these tips are things that I have learned over the years, and I hope they can help you too. I believe in being a well-rounded woman. That includes looks and finances, which can often get overlooked. My first tip to being a financially literate woman is to buy more long-lasting statement pieces over trendy fast fashion. Fast fashion has become super popular over the years. However, when trends are constantly changing, you are constantly having to buy new items. When you buy things that take longer to make and are bigger statement pieces in your wardrobe, they can last you for years and years and you won't constantly have to go to the store and feel pressure to buy new items. My next tip is to buy things that are on sale. Get used to shopping sell items more frequently. Sell items often have things that many people may think are not stylish or fashionable. However, if you look hard, you can find something that you can use. My next tip to being a financially literate woman is to do your beauty upkeep at home sometimes. I believe in being reasonable. I'm not saying that you have to do everything at home all the time, but every now and then take some time at home and do things that you usually spend money on yourself. For example, Take a couple weeks off and give your own self a nice mani pedi at home. You'll be surprised what you can do. You can easily go on Amazon and buy a nice bucket that can give your feet a nice hot massage. You can also learn tutorials on YouTube on how to do hair, eyebrows, makeup, waxing. Every now and then, Save some money and do your beauty upkeep yourself. My next tip is to take advantage of cash back programs on credit and debit cards. Many people do not even know that their cards offer cash back. Many places and stores that women love offer cash back, such as Ulta Beauty, and Sephora. My next tip is to always put money aside for savings and emergencies. Never stash all of your money in one place. Make sure you always have something set aside in case of an emergency and you also have money saved up. The next tip you should follow to becoming a financially literate woman is to have multiple sources of income. I believe all women have many talents and you should never settle for just one thing. Use some of your own talents and create sources of income, whether it's doing hair, beauty, makeup, whatever it is, make sure you have multiple sources of income. Any job can let you go at the drop of a needle, so make sure you are always having multiple sources of money coming in. My next tip is to make your favorite food and recipes at home. For me, one of my favorite things is chipotle. However, it can really cost you and add up over the weeks. Therefore, I learned my own at-home Chipotle recipe. I save money and make it 
every now and then when I'm craving it. You can do the same. Whether it's Chipotle, Starbucks, make your own favorite recipes at home. And my last tip is to do research and learn about financial topics such as 401k plans, retirement, savings, inheritance, trust funds, LLCs, and more. Unfortunately, many of these things aren't teached in school, so you have to do your own research and get educated on these things. You'll be amazed at the money you can make and save and create for future generations. You can learn about various financial topics from books, courses, and even a financial advisor if you need. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful to get you to finally become a financially literate woman. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who needs it. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video.